it's been eight weeks since my three months mini braids challenge started and i'm thrilled to see how much progress my hair has made i'm not exactly surprised since i've grown my hair out with mini braids in my previous hair journey so i started this journey in the first place because i had experienced a significant hair loss which resulted in a loss of thickness and density so i decided to take on mini braids to help improve my hair's thickness and density as well as retain length Hi, I'm Essie. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I share hair care tips and tutorials and I'm currently growing my hair out with mini braids. So I've already moisturized my hair thoroughly the day before using my TCB leave-in conditioner and dark hair grease to lock in moisture. So I wore this African thread for 24 hours, but unfortunately my hair was still damp and it didn't get any stretch, especially my mid shaft and ends of my hair. Only the root of my hair got dry. My root felt really thick and it was hard to comb through. I didn't get any stretch at all from this threading because I like to work on a stretched hair. That's the only way I can braid the new growth and it's just growing as much as the rest of my hair. Another thing is since I'm battling with breakage and shedding, I have to try as much as to make the roots stretched. If not, the root is going to appear a lot thicker than the ends of my hair. But unfortunately, I didn't get as much stretch. So I have to try as much as possible so the braids don't end up looking too thick on the roots and very thin on the ends. I've been wearing my mini braids to work and I try to keep them as neat as possible. However, I have to admit I'm still a bit lazy when it comes to focusing on the parts, you know, getting those exact neat, extremely neat parts. I don't really have time for that. <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is I am not using any form of, you know, edge control, freeze, tamer or anything. I'm just going to braid my hair exactly the way it is. I don't really care or I'm not really particular about how extremely neat it is. The only reason I'm even using a comb is because I wear them to work. Mini braids can be a handful. They are very tiring to install but it's beautiful once you are done so that is basically it so i'm going to be going with the whole block or the rectangle shape but i do make sure to section my crown apart as i experience hair loss in that area and it's quite tender so sectioning my crown has really helped me reduce hair loss and breakage. Some of you do not know this, but parting your hair in four sections all the time can potentially lead to hair loss at the crown. Especially if you have fine hair or you part it too tight, you know, probably want to wash your hair and your hair is in four sections. You want to style your hair, it's in four sections. Literally every time you part your hair, you put it in a traditional four parts. That can potentially lead to hair loss in the crown. So it's good to actually section your crown out when you want to style your hair to prevent crown hair loss okay there are also certain styles like ponytail really tight braids you know that puts tension on the crown just like that kuruba hairstyle that trended like few months back that can also put tension on your crown so please be careful because crown hair loss and tenderness is no joke if you struggle with breakage and stunted growth mini braids can be a game changer for your hair and i'm being honest by protective styling your hair in mini braids you're allowing your hair to focus on retaining length instead of constantly fighting against breakage okay so you can wear them for two to four weeks this will allow your hair to breathe from stress and manipulation most of you don't know that the reason your hair is not growing longer or you're not retaining length is because of constant manipulation, constant pulling, constant tugging, constant restyling and putting your hair through lots of stress. Manipulation can damage your hair from breakage, making your hair dry and you know, it thins your hair out as well. So try on mini braids if you are looking to grow your hair out or retain length.
So I mentioned sectioning my crown, which was the main reason I took down my braids to install a new one. While the rest is block or rectangle in shape, I decided to go for round shape around my crown just for a fresh part because I've been wearing that block shape when I refreshed my mini braids and I feel like it can thin that area out more. That was why I decided to go for the round or coin shape on my crown. And at this point, I was exhausted. I don't know why but this particular installation was taking longer than expected so I had to resort to music to help me stay motivated. I feel like this challenge has made me really lazy. I'm not easily tired whenever I'm braiding my hair but ever since I started the whole mini braids challenge I'm now too lazy probably because I'm, I now leave my hair for a long time before styling it. I guess that's why. I've been wearing middle parts since I started this challenge so I figured it's time for something other than middle parts. You know, in case you do not know, wearing middle parts constantly can cause breakage and thinning around that area and that's why most people, whenever they part their hair, you'd notice that their middle part is looking really, really wide. You know, that's from constant middle parts, alright? So you can change your parts occasionally instead of wearing middle parts all the time. So finally, I am done installing these braids and it's giving faunyash. This is what we call faunyash in Nigeria. I don't know, it's sticking up probably because I didn't use any like products that has liquid in it. But this is what it looks like and the length is given. Mini braids do have a way of humbling someone because if this is mini twists, you won't even see my scalp. But here you go, my scalp looking like camera looking at you people. <laughs> So yeah, while my hair has retained length, I'm a bit more focused on, you know, improving the thickness. So I'll be using, I'll be adding beads now to spice up the whole look, okay? And before then, I'm going to moisturize my hair, especially the ends of my hair, because I'll be using rubber bands, and rubber bands can strip your hair. So that's basically it. Let me quickly show you guys how I insert my beads, which is very simple. I just simply wrap the ends of my hair to fit in the hole of the beads, just like so. Then I insert the hair. It's that simple. Then I proceed to secure with rubber bands. Shikina. <laughs> very, very easy, very simple to do. This is the final look and I'm loving every bit of it. I'm going to be wearing this for maybe three weeks or the rest of the month. I don't know. All right. It just depends on how my hair gets. If it get really frizzy, I might have to reinstall or refresh rather. So this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and also leave a comment and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day.